Kid Kits was kind enough to send us another box to review. Stay tuned to see what's inside. Hey everybody, welcome back to Project Happy Home. For those of you who don't know, I'm Tanya, an MDJD, which is a doctor lawyer turned homeschooling mom of three kids ages seven, four, and two. If you're interested in videos about homeschooling, ADHD, and mom life in general, you've come to the right place. Kid Kids was kind enough to send us their June box, and the June box theme is birds, which is amazingly awesome for us because my husband is a falconer, and this family is super into birds and bird watching in general. So my kids are gonna love doing this this weekend. But before we got into the activities, I wanted to show you what was inside the box. And if you're interested in seeing my kids use these materials and do the activities, you should definitely check out my Instagram feed at Project Happy Home. Kid Kids has also been nice enough to offer a code to my subscribers that will give you $5 off if you decide to order a subscription plan with them. The activities are super fun. They're easy, they're not too involved. I really like how all the materials are very eco-friendly and, and recyclable. So before I keep talking, let me just get into it. So in every activity box, they send you these beautiful, heavy um, instructions. And so they're printed on like a heavyweight paper, which is really nice and feels nice to use. So here we have feed our feathered friends, build a nest, feather painting, and a bird watching scavenger hunt. And there's also a page to design a bird. And I obviously have three children. What I do in this case is I just copy this and it's no problem. I just put it on my copier and make two more copies. And if I want, I can do it on a heavy cardstock. In general, I just do it on regular paper. So the first activity I'm gonna tell you about is feed our feathered friends. And the materials include a pine cone, sunflower butter, which is sunflower seed butter, black oil sunflower seeds, jumbo popsicle stick, and a smaller piece of twine here. And I love that it's all included. I especially love that they included sun butter instead of peanut butter. So for those families with nut allergies, this is really a thoughtful um, addition. And it's one of those things that, you know, we've all seen this craft on Pinterest, but to actually go out and, like in my area, we don't actually have pine cones, but to find a pine cone and to get the butter and to get the materials, like even like a craft stick and stuff, you might not have those. And to pick up the right seeds, all of that takes doing. And I really appreciate that they've done it all for you and it's all in one easy step. I also really appreciate that their instruction list is so easy to follow and is clearly laid out step by step with illustrations so there's no guesswork involved. I'm gonna the next activity I'm gonna tell you about is the build a nest activity and it requires the pie tin, the nest materials packet, a wooden egg, water and mud. And it clearly says that the water and mud are not provided but that's easy to find. Um, the three-step process is clearly laid out and I think my kids are gonna have such a good time making a nest that could actually be used. We actually had some nesting birds in our porch last year and I know this would have been a really fun activity for them. Maybe we can do it and encourage them to come back this year. Just to show you, the nest materials include some raffia here and also some Spanish moss. <laughs> there's a big old clump of Spanish moss in there. So that's all really nice for nesting activity. And you can use the wooden egg to show them like as an example of how an egg would look inside the nest. And hopefully you'll actually get a nesting bird to come and take you up on your rental offer. The next activity is feather painting and the materials are cruelty free feathers, rubber bands, paint, the design of bird sheet, which I had shown you earlier, and a stick, which is not provided. So basically you make a little paintbrush out of the stick and the feathers and the rubber band and then you go ahead and use the paints to paint your picture which is such a fun activity. And you can actually even add the feathers I think at the end to your picture should you care to. Let's check out these feathers. Oh, so there's a bunch of them here and they're really cute and fluffy. Last but not least is the bird watching activity and Kid Kids here has provided us with this cute pop-up binoculars. So you just fold them and they turn into these cute binoculars that you can look through. Let's see if I can actually put it, oh there you go. You can put it up to the lens here and you can see through. It would focus, ah, see? So if I hold it up to my camera lens, you can see how it's an actual binoculars there. It's magnifying the twine. And you can use the larger piece of twine 
to create a cord for your binoculars so they can wear them around their neck. Um, and then you can go on a nature walk. And that was one thing we really enjoyed about Kid Kits from last time was we had an activity where we had to collect wildflower petals to create dye from them. And that was one of our most fun days. It didn't involve that many materials, but we had such a good time going out and collecting the wildflowers as a family. And this is another one of those things where you might talk about going out on a, a bird walk, you know, with your kids, but now you have an actual reason to do it and the kids will remind you because they have something tangible that will remind them that this is on your agenda. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm so excited to use this kit with my kids. We really enjoyed their last box and I can't wait to see what kinds of things my kids come up with with this one. Um, again, if you want to check out Kid Kits online, make sure you remember to use the code that's been floating through this video to get you $5 off. As always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support, and I hope you have a wonderful day.